Okay, this is part two of the unboxing, and we're going to actually see how good the DeWalt portable power station and charger really is. I have a uh, Milwaukee 15 amp circular saw, seven and a quarter. I've been trying to power it with a uh, Schumacher 2000 watt inverter. I haven't had very much success. Uh, I'll show you what happens. We've got it. We've got the circular saw plugged into the Schumacher and it's connected to the battery and this is what happens. Nothing. It just want, it won't get over the hump of the, the induction for the induction motor. And so it just can't drive it to start. So uh, I heard about this DeWalt portable power station and I went online and looked at some of the videos and it, it showed people using circular saws and things like that. So that's what inspired me to buy this unit. And uh, it comes with uh, four batteries, three four amp hour batteries and one six amp hour battery. These batteries are fully charged right now. So let's plug the power saw into the, the DeWalt. Okay, now the first thing that you should do when it's idle like this is before you plug in the unit, turn on the inverter. And you hear this loud beep and it sets everything up. So, and then when you plug it in, make sure that your equipment is turned off, <laughs> obviously. So we'll plug it in. Let's see what happens. All right. We got action. So I am really, really glad. This thing is like number one on my list as far as inverters and power stations go. Uh, it's relatively light. It's about 18 pounds. It can be moved with these handles and uh, it powers, as advertised, 15 amp power tools. I called DeWalt because I had some questions about the uh, power station. And one of them was that once the batteries are all charged and you have them plugged in, so it doesn't come with a cord, so you're going to have to supply a cord that goes in here for 120 volts. And uh, I asked them, once they're charged, will the batteries take on a trickle charge from the unit and keep them up to capacity? And they said no. They go into a safe state, which the lights are on, but nobody's home. <laughs> and uh, they're not doing anything. They're just pretty much sitting in the charger. So um, also, I said, well, how about if I leave it like this and then I come back and I want to charge it? So she says, don't do that. So don't plug it in while the batteries are in the unit because the spike of plugging it in goes right directly to the batteries and over time can damage the batteries. So you have to unload the batteries. Then plug it in. It, it resets itself. The lights blink to let you know that everything's okay, and then load in the batteries. And as you load them in, if the batteries are not charged up to stuff for 100% capacity, they will blink and make sure the, that the batteries are deep seated. So all the lights are blinking, and then as the batteries come up to full charge, they go to a steady state. So. Good thing to know, no trickle charge, and the order of operation is important. You want to be sure and plug it in with no batteries. There's one other thing that's probably important, and that is um, on this particular flex volt that operates 60 volt uh, power tools as well as 20 volt, it comes with a cap. Now, the reason that is, is because there's a certain regulation that says that batteries, especially lithium ion batteries, cannot fly if they're over a certain amp hour 
um, or voltage. And what this does is by putting the cap on, it cuts the battery's power in half. So you push this down, push it on. And, and, and likewise, when you take it off. So as you push this on, it cuts the battery power in half so that it uh, complies with FAA regulations uh, for flight. So that's a good thing to know if you're shipping this thing or taking it on a plane. You've got to have this thing installed. Okay, well, that's just about it for the uh, power station by DeWalt. I'm very happy, and um, thanks for watching.